Carson Source here with the IBF Super Lightweight Champion Subriel Matias ahead of the uh, bout coming up in uh, Saturday at MGM. Uh, guess you're checking out what's going on with uh, the Gary Antoine Russell Kent Cruz bout. What do you think about the fight between Gary Antoine Russell and Kent Cruz? In fact, I don't follow him much. My mind is put in other names. I don't really follow them that much. I have my mind set in other names, to be honest with you. Ah, gotcha. I uh, know that um, I spoke with uh, one contender, Shojahan Ergashev, that is the top contender for the IBF title. I uh, know that they've been negotiating for that particular fight. Uh, is it any closer for you to fight in Ergashev next? How close is the fight with Ergashev to unify the titles with the FIB? Well, look, he's the next opponent. So, the 15th will be the push of the ball. Eh, vamos a ver quién gana la, la contienda y ya luego ¿verdad? se va a saber la fecha exacta. Uh, you know, he's the, he's the one that I have in mind to be uh, my next opponent. Let's see how the negotiations work and then go from there. Gotcha. Now, I know that you said that you know, after getting your belt that you've been the most avoided fighter at 140. I know that there's some business with Regis Prograce and I know that uh, Rolando Romero recently got a belt. What about potentially facing Rolando Romero or Regis Progress or even Devin Haney in the future for unification? Romero, Haney, ¿qué te genera eso, Romero? Pues mira, realmente Haney eh, lo veo ganándole a, a Progress. De él ganar, yo salir, ¿verdad? Victorioso, que es lo que se espera. Me gustaría enfrentarlo. Eh, para mí sería un honor, ¿verdad? Eh, enfrentar a otro campeón. Y más si es Haney. Yeah, uh, uh, you know, I see Haney defeating Progress. And then, you know, I would love to be able to fight a champion like that and, and showing who can be on top of the division. Yeah, Devin Haney, former undisputed uh, lightweight champion, coming up to 140. You know, he's been uh, one of the best, uh, I'd say, pound for pound fighters out there. So, you facing Haney, you can prove that you're one of the most talented fighters out there in boxing. O sea que si te enfrentarías a Haney, sería tu oportunidad de demostrar que sos uno de los boxeadores más talentosos libra por libra del planeta. Pues mira, realmente lo que él hizo ¿verdad? fue en 135, 140, 140 es otro cantar y creo que 140 ¿verdad? se llama Subriel Matías. You know, uh, what he did at 135, impressive, yeah, but 140 is another beast altogether and the beast at 140 is called Subriel Matías. Well, like you said, the beast at 140 is Subriel Matías and looks like, you know, some fighters have said like they've been a little bit reluctant to step in the ring against you. What does it mean to be like one of those uh, guys that may be one of the fear fighters at 140? ¿Cómo se siente ser uno de los boxeadores más temidos de la división de 50 libros? Pues mira, realmente no me considero temido. Mm, más bien es, ¿verdad? Eh, quizás las peleas buenas no se dan por eh, la, la diferencia que tengan entre compañías. Pero espero en Dios, ¿verdad? Ya pronto eso, eso acabe. I don't consider myself inside the fear. It's just a matter of the good fights being able to be resolved like they should be. So it's just a matter of being patient, and I'm willing to be patient. Gotcha. Thank you very much, Gracias. Uh, you know, for taking the time to speak with the boxing source, we're going to be seeing more action from you, the IBF Super Lightweight Champion, Super Matias. Muchas gracias, Jefe.